Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be adding and subtracting mixed fractions. Kasama na rin po dito yung mga tips and tricks kung paano isolve ng mabilisan yung mga mixed fractions. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by adding mixed fractions. 2 and 1 over 5 plus 3 and 4 over 5. Here, I'll be showing you some uh, tips and tricks kung paano sagutan ang ganitong klaseng mga mixed fractions. So, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang ways in solving or answering. First is yung usual way lang talaga, yung natutunan natin sa school. And second is yung um, tips and tricks kung paano masagutan ng mabilisan. So, let's start with the usual way of answering. So, una, imumultiply po natin yung denominator. When we say denominator, yung nasa baba ng fraction. So, 5 times dito sa whole number na 2. So, 5 times 2 and that is equal to 10. Tapos, yung nasa numerator, i-add na lang siya. So, 10 plus 1 and that is equal to 11. Then, copy yung denominator. So, kumbaga po ang ginawa lang natin dito is kinonvert muna natin ang mixed fraction na ito into its improper fraction na form. Kapag sinabi po nating improper fraction, mas greater po yung numerator kaysa kay denominator since 11 is greater than 5. Then, just copy the operator which is addition. Dito naman, denominator times the whole number, so 5 times 3 and that is equal to 15 plus the numerator which is 4. So 15 plus 4 and that is equal to 19. Then over 5 kasi copy lang po yung denominator. And now we can operate as usual. And as what we can see, this is a similar fraction kasi meron po silang same denominators. So 11 over 5 plus 19 over 5 ang gagawin po is to add the numerator and just copy the denominator. So, 11 plus 19 and that is equal to 30. Then, copy the denominator which is 5. So, 30 over 5. Now, ang tanong, masimplify pa ba? Yes, since 30 is divisible by 5 and that is equal to 6. Now, Ipapakita naman po natin kung paano isolve yung mixed fraction na ito ng mabilisan in less than uh, 5 seconds siguro or 10 seconds. So, ang una po muna natin gagawin is to add the whole numbers. So, 2 and 3. So, that is equal to 5. Dito naman tayo sa mga fractions. And by the way, dito, pwede na po nating i-operate directly yung mga fractions. Kasi similar fraction naman, di ba? Same sila ng denominator, 5. So that means 4 plus 1 and that is equal to 5 over 5. So 5 over 5 and that is equal to 1. Then, 1 plus 5 and that is equal to 6. So yan na po yung sagot. So, pili lang po kayo kung saan kayo mas comfortable na way, kung saan mas mabilis kayong makapagsagot sa actual na examination. Kasi nga, oras ang kalaban. Okay, so let's move to another example. 7 and 5 over 6 plus 5 and 1 over 6. So, again, yung usual na pagsagot muna tayo, ano? So, let's convert this mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, 6 times 7, and that is equal to 42, plus 5, and that is equal to 47. Then, just copy the denominator. Next, dito naman, 6 times 5, and that is equal to 30, plus 1, and that is equal to 31, over 6. And as what we can see, similar fraction again, kasi meron silang same denominators. So, 47 plus 31, so i-add lang po yung mga numerators. So that is equal to 78. Then just copy the denominator, which is 6. 78 over 6 can be simplified? Yes, since 78 is divisible by 6, which is equal to 13. So next is yung kung paano natin masagutan ng mabilis. Ano? 
So una natin gagawin is to add up yung mga whole numbers si 7 and 5. And that is equal to 12. So again, similar fraction. So just operate or add directly the numerators and copy the denominator. So 5 plus 1 and that is equal to 6 over 6 and that is equal to 1. Kasi 6 divided by 6 which is equal to 1. Then plus 12 and that is equal to 13. At ito na po yung sagot. Okay, so let's move to our last example for addition. 3 and 1 over 3 plus 4 and 3 over 5. So again, yung usual way muna ng pag-solve natin dito, ano? So denominator times whole number. 3 times 3 and that is equal to 9 plus 1 and that is equal to 10. Copy the denominator which is 3. Now, 5 times 4, and that is equal to 20, plus 3, and that is equal to 23. Then again, copy the denominator. And as what we have observed, this is a dissimilar fraction. Kasi hindi po sila same ng denominators. Unlike sa ating first two examples na same lang ng denominators. Again, ano nga po ang gagawin kapag dissimilar fraction? Yes. Find the LCD or least common denominator. So, paano nga ba ang paghanap ng least common denominator? So, kunin lang po yung mga multiples ni 3 and 5. So, dito muna tayo kay 3. So, ano-ano ba yung mga multiples of 3? So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and so on. Kay 5 naman. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. Marami pang iba. Now, tingnan nyo po, ano yung common nila na pinakamababa? Kasi nga, least common. Tingnan nyo yung saan sila may common pero yung pinakamababang number. Actually, ang common ni 3 and 5 is 15 and 30. Pero 15 is the least. Ito yung pinakamababa na common ni 3 and 5. So therefore, 15 is the least common denominator. So ganito po ang gagawin. 15 divided by 3 and that is equal to 5 times 10 and that is equal to 50. Dito naman, 15 divided by 5 and that is equal to 3 times 23 and that is equal to 69. So ngayon, just simply add the numerator, 50 plus 69, and that is equal to 119 over 15. So, ito na po yung sagot. By the way, pwede nyo ding gamitin yung butterfly method dito. So, 3 times 5, and that is equal to 15. So, now, butterfly method na. 10 times 5, and that is equal to 50. 23 times 3, and that is equal to 69. So, 50 plus 69 and that is equal to 119. Then, copy the denominator which is 15. So, ito na po yung sagot. Pareho lang din naman sila. So, next, dito naman tayo sa trick kung paano isolve ng mabilis. So, una, di ba i-add muna natin yung mga whole numbers. 3 plus 4 and that is equal to 7. Next, sa butterfly method naman. So, i-multiply muna natin yung mga denominators. 3 times 5, and that is equal to 15. Next, 1 times 5, and that is equal to 5. 3 times 3, and that is equal to 9. 5 plus 9, and that is equal to 14. Therefore, the answer is 7 and 14 over 15. So, if we try to convert this mixed fraction to an improper fraction, ito ay mag-i-equal kay 119 over 15. So, let's try to convert. 15 times 7, and that is equal to 105, plus 14, and that is equal to 119, over 15. Kasi copy lang yung denominator. So, di ba same lang ng sagot? So, next, let's move to subtraction of mixed fractions. Let's have our first example for the subtraction. 
5 and 3 over 7 minus 2 and 4 over 7. So again, first is yung paano isolve, yung usual way. So, denominator times whole number, 7 times 5, and that is equal to 35, plus 3, and that is equal to 38. Then, copy the denominator, which is 7. Next, 7 times 2, and that is equal to 14, plus 4, and that is equal to 18, over 7. So, as what we can see, this is a similar fraction. So, subtract as usual yung numerators, then copy the denominator. 38 minus 18, and that is equal to 20, over 7. So, ito na po yung sagot. So, next is yung ating trick kung paano isolve ng mabilis, ano? So, just subtract yung parehong mga whole numbers. So, 5 minus 2, and that is equal to 3. So, dito naman tayo sa mga fractions. So, actually, pwede na natin hindi gamitin yung butterfly method kasi similar fraction naman ito. So, pwede na natin isubtract yung parehong numerator. So, 3 minus 4, and that is equal to negative 1, then copy the denominator, which is 7. So, therefore, this is 3 minus 1 over 7. Again, take note, na kapag uh, dissimilar fraction, gagamit tayo ng butterfly method. At kapag similar fraction naman, or yung same na ang kanilang mga denominators, just operate directly or just add or subtract the numerator, then copy the denominator. So, this is simply 3 over 1 minus 1 over 7. So, bakit naging 3 over 1 yan? 3 over 1 is simply equal to 3. So, nilagyan lang natin ng denominator para makapag-butterfly method na tayo. So, now, butterfly method na. Multiply mo na natin yung denominator. So, 1 times 7, and that is equal to 7. Next, 3 times 7, and that is equal to 21. 1 times 1, and that is equal to 1. So, subtract 21 and 1, and that is equal to 20 over 7. So, same lang po sila ng sagot. Next example, 9 and 1 over 5 minus 2 and 4 over 5. So first is yung usual way natin ng pag-solve ng mixed fraction. So denominator times whole number, 5 times 9 and that is equal to 45 plus 1 and that is equal to 46 over 5. Next, 5 times 2 and that is equal to 10 plus 4, and that is equal to 14 over 5. And as what we can see, similar fraction, kasi same sila ng denominator, which is 5. So let's subtract directly 46 and 14. 46 minus 14, and that is equal to 32. Then copy the denominator, which is 5. So this is our final answer. And how about yung trick, yung paano sagutan ng mabilis? So, 9 minus 2, and that is equal to 7. Then, 1 minus 4, and that is equal to negative 3 over 5. So, that means it's 7 minus 3 over 5. Now, para makapag-butterfly method tayo, lagyan natin ng denominator si 7, which is 1. Kasi same lang din naman, 7 over 1, that is equal to 7. So now, multiply the denominators, 1 and 5, and that is equal to 5. 7 times 5, and that is equal to 35. 3 times 1, and that is equal to 3. So 35 minus 3, and that is equal to 32 over 5. So same sila ng sagot. Okay, so let's have our last example for subtraction. 5 and 3 over 2 minus 5 and 1 over 5. Okay, so feel free to pause the video and try to answer this in your scratch paper so that you can practice yourself on how to answer this kind of problem. So again, usual way of solving mixed fractions. Denominator times whole number. 2 times 5 and that is equal to 10 plus 3, and that is equal to 13, then 
copy the denominator which is 2. Next, 5 times 5 and that is equal to 25 plus 1 and that is equal to 26 over 5. Okay, since this is a dissimilar fraction or hindi po sila pareho ng denominator, so let's use the butterfly method. So let's multiply first the denominators. 2 times 5 and that is equal to 10. Next, 13 times 5 and that is equal to 65. 26 times 2 and that is equal to 52. So, 65 minus 52, and that is equal to 13, then copy the denominator, which is 10. So, this is the final answer. Now, please take note that when operating with dissimilar fraction, at gumamit po kayo ng butterfly method, kailangan i-operate nyo po una dito na part, bago dito. Kasi kapag nagka-interchange po sila, mababago po yung sign. Instead of a positive, magiging negative na. And instead of a negative, ay magiging positive na. Again, operate first this part bago yung dito na part. Again, tandaan, kapag gumamit ng butterfly method sa subtraction, dapat ganito muna bago yung paganto. Actually, this kind of problem will only arise pagdating sa subtraction. Kasi sa addition, walang problema kahit sa ang part yung unahin ninyo, Okay lang. And that's all for this video. I hope this video makes sense to you in reviewing for your upcoming examination. And kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, of course, consider subscribing, liking, and sharing our video to your friends. At wag na rin pong kalimutang i-follow ang ating official Facebook page. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.